little treat here for everybody show you what's going on here in the shop this is the motor straight out of the junkyard that will be going in my sand rail this is a 2015 Chevy Malibu it's a 2.5 liter four cylinder and we're going to be running that on a Subaru transmission. I have uh, an LCJ or an LSJ sitting over there on the floor, and uh, that's rated stock with a supercharger at 210 horsepower. And this here is rated at 210, 220, as people are saying they're getting with no forced induction. So why add all that extra weight of forced induction when you can have the same amount of power out of NA power? Uh, some other differences is I swapped the intake and exhaust sides. This here is the L LKW model. There you can see the tag. They have the LCV and the LKW 2.5s. This has variable cam lobe timing, where they have, it's pretty much like VTEC, where you have two cams, and uh, as you're cruising, it's on the more mild cam, and then you hit the gas, it uses oil pressure to change it to a higher cam profile. It is direct injection. Uh, they did change the uh, throttle, bo or the uh, intake pretty much used to come out the center on the other side now it kind of coils up and around and out the top it's got the 8 bolt crank it's the same as uh, the force induction stuff was like the LSJ uh, and you can see the bolt pattern we're gonna have to use the Subaru flywheel Gonna have to get an adapter made because this is my adapter that I was using that went to the uh, LSJ and now they changed the belt housing pattern on me. You can see here I got three holes that line up. Alignment pin hole and those two top holes and the rest are all different. Thank you GM. They switched the starter from over there to over here. On the stock car we're gonna be using the Subaru starter so it's not a big deal got the harness the ECU alternator pedal they didn't give me the math I'm gonna have to get one of them uh, we'll send the uh, ECU out I'm gonna do the harness myself we're gonna have to change some stuff here like this plastic stuff I'm gonna have to I'll make some billet parts for that something with the header that's a big hunk of piece of cast there you're gonna have to get rid of that it does have this external belt driven water pump that's totally different it used to be off the side over here and it was driven by the cam cam chain so that's a big difference the uh AC compressor was down here. The alternator will go over here. Uh, did some measurements, and overall, it's this one is a tiny bit taller than my LSJ. I did have an L61. That's the uh, 22 early 22 out of an 03 Cavalier that I was running for a few years. Very close to the LSJ. We're gonna have to clean a lot of this up. Make it look a lot better. Do away with all this emissions crap here. All these vent breather stuff change around. But the biggest thing is gonna be getting the adapter made to go to my transmission and uh, harness and ECU. So that's what's going on here.